Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, then hey, Elk Duck, my name is Siobhan and for today's video I'm gonna be doing a huge charity shop haul for you. Now I've never ever done a charity shop haul on my channel before, so this is gonna be my very first one. And the reason why I've been going into charity shops is to find bargains to resell on eBay because I am now starting to get into reselling on eBay. So yes, most of this stuff is for that reason. So if you want to see what I got from charity shop, just keep watching this video. So the first item is this Winnie the Pooh and he is in very very good condition he has not got hardly anything wrong with him again it's going to be nice for a kid who likes Winnie the Pooh or anybody that likes to collect this sort of thing he's got a bit of a string there on the side of his neck but again you can sort of cut that off and there's a few threads coming out of his um, top but again nothing major so yeah this is the Winnie the Pooh and this was £3 and this was from the Treetops Hospice now the next thing we picked up was this Eeyore, again sticking with the Winnie the Pooh theme, uh, Eeyore backpack. Now this is supposed to be a lunch bag I think as well, but again I thought this would be good for back to school so we're going to try and sell this on. Wow, it's just started absolutely throwing it down and see if we can get any more for it. Again, anybody that likes Winnie the Pooh or Eeyore, it's just, it's basically brand new, there's no marks on it, it's got the tag on it and everything so yeah this was like £1 something i think so yeah i thought this was very nice again like i said it's brand it's brand new it's got tags on it and everything so yeah we're gonna put that on ebay and see how much we can get back for that right now i'm gonna show you my big bag one of the big bags and it's ever we have this stealth case now this is brand new again uh not been opened it's in the box and everything um so this is a stealth nintendo switch light travel case now if i'd have had a nintendo switch light i would have kept it for myself but i haven't so i thought i know these go for a little bit more than what i paid for it i think i paid about one pound thirty for it so i think this is originally from argos because it does have the actual number on the side of it so yeah we picked up that as well and i mean we me and my brother like to go in so that's what i mean by we <laughs> The next thing I picked up, now I know it's a couple of years out of date, but I thought if somebody likes to collect them um, or somebody who's, who's into football or likes to, you know, look at that sort of thing because I think a young kid would like that because I know I would have looked at it when I was younger and especially sticker books and stuff to do with football, I used to collect all that sort of stuff when I was younger so I thought this would be a nice book to resell. So this is the UEFA Euro 2020 official book. So as you can see, again, brand new. Um, I got this for £1.30 something, I think. And it retails at a price of £13. Now, I know it's obviously a couple of years out of date, so I won't obviously sell it for that, but I'll sell it for more than what I actually bought it for. Um, so yeah, official book of the Euro 2020. Again, brand new. There's no pages that's been ripped or anything like that. So there's that. Now, I, oh, honestly... Tell me, I don't know why, but my brother likes Batman, Batman, and he's a lot older than me, right, and he is very sad in buying this, but he said he wanted it just to send it up. It was one pound. It's just basically a tin with Batman on. It's got, I thought, oh, maybe it's got something in it. It's not, it's just empty tin. So, I don't know why, but it's a bashed up tin for one pound. My brother wanted it to stand up on his shelf. So there's that. And then, I found some books. I found this annual now i am a one direction fan and i have been for a very very long time and i collected when i was younger all of the one direction memorabilia now if this was one direction as such i would have kept it but because it's not well it is it is one of the members in it but it's not oh it is one of the members that one direction but it's not the one that i like <laughs> So yes, this is the Harry Styles annual 2014, so again, anybody that loves Harry Styles would love this book, um, and I thought I'd pick it up. I can't remember how much this was, to be honest, I think it was about, oh no, 50 pence I think it was. I know it's 2014, but again, anybody loves Harry Styles, they're going to like this, and it's literally, there's been no drawings or anything in it, no marks or anything in it, it's not been ripped, so... Yes, I thought I'd buy that and try and resell it. Even if I get a couple of quid for it, you know, I've made my money back on it. And then I found two Barbie annuals. Now, these are 2022. So, these are obviously for this year. Uh, both 50 pence each. Again, brand new. Not been um, not been used. Not been drawn in or anything. Not been coloured in. Um, so, again, anybody who likes Barbie, 
then they'd like these. So I got two of these and both of them was 50 pence each. And then my brother thought he'd pick up these. These are some Thomas books. Um, again, I think these were 50p. So you've got Thomas ABC and then you've got Thomas 123. They are a little bit battered on the sides, but inside they're absolutely fine. Like there's nothing wrong with them. You, it's still usable. Like it's just got all the letters of learning and stuff in. Um, and yeah, not been marked or anything. So we thought we'd sell them as a maybe a pair or something and these were my first like proper charity find um and these were a box of converse now as you can see they're in the box and everything so they are brand brand new these are kids converse and these were five pound and you as you can see they are brand brand new they've probably only been worn once twice if that at a push like the laces are like literally pure white everything's pure white around here there's a couple of marks on the sides here but again not major and the bottoms are like completely fine not been worn or anything and obviously they're like the low top ones they come they came in the actual box like this so with, even with the original t tissue paper in and they were five pound now i know these are worth more than that so that's why i picked them up last things in this bag is two timberland shirts now these are men's shirts so this one is a regular fit and it's just a striped shirt it's got the logo on it and everything and this one has it got the pocket in so the other one is near enough exactly the same but it's got a bit of a different design and these are three pound original timberland shirts which are obviously timberland is a lot more expensive um and they were three pound well that was three pound this one was three pound and let me show you the other one so again this one is obviously the same sort of style as you can see the same sort of color um but then it's got a pocket on the side somewhere wherever it is there it is yeah i don't think you can even see it without me putting my hand in it yeah it's got a pocket here it's got the original timberland logo on it wherever it is on the pocket um and on the actual tags and stuff so yes three pound for original timberland shirts we were quids in with that so yes there's them so i wanted to try and find a collection of this because i've seen that there was this one in the charity shop. This is the original um, Beatrix Potter's books. And this is the one that, that's called The Tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Now obviously you can get all the other ones because it tells you on the back. I only managed to get this. This was 50p. Um, so maybe if I can get any more. Then I could sell them as a set. Because obviously then it's nicer that you've got all the Beatrix Potter's. It does say it is worth on its own £4.50. And I think I paid like 50p for it. So there's that then we found some me to you stuff i know a lot of people like me to you and it's been around for a very very long time me to you stuff has been a long been around for a very very long time um and yeah so this is brand new in the box as you can see it's just a happy birthday beer and this was three pound i think which to be honest i don't think i'm gonna get much more than that but i thought gonna be nice for a little birthday present i suppose if anybody's got a birthday and they want to buy a me to you beer and then the last thing in this bag is a cup, which again is me to you. So again, this is for an 18th birthday. So this is what the actual cup looks like. I think this was about 75p or 50p. I can't actually remember because I've not got the price on it anymore. But yeah, this is the cup and it's just got the me to you and then it's got 18 on it. And then it just says congratulations on it. So yeah, there's a me to you cup. I know why my light keeps flickering. Don't even fucking start me. This is the second bag. So, so this was the second pair of kids converse that I found in the charity shop. These are without the box, but they are practically brand new. So these are high top ones, so they're very small. I would, if I had a kid that was this size, I would keep them and I would love to keep them because they're so cute. But <laughs> these are the Converse Chuck Taylor All Star ones and these are baby ones. I mean, look how small they are. But they're they're practically brand new as you can see they are literally hardly got any marks on them there's probably like a tiny bit of mark here and i don't know if there was another one somewhere on this one yeah there's a slight mark on the back of this one but again very 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 minor um but again these were five pound and you can see the condition of them are like they've hardly been worn obviously these haven't worn off so you can tell how long these have been on the toddler's feet for um, and again the bottoms are completely clean so yeah we've got them as well they were a five on now this purchase was 
not intended to sell. Like I previously said, I collect, I used to collect One Direction stuff and even if I do see it now and I think, oh, I haven't got that, even though I've got a lot of stuff, um, I will pick it up and put it in my own collection. So this is a One Direction book. I have not seen this before um, and this was £2. Um, this is this is called the One Direction Five Lives book, which obviously has got Zayn on it as well, which is obviously Zayn obviously split up with them and then they start to all drift anyway, so they're not actually together anymore, obviously. Um, so anything with Zayn on it, I seem to pick it up because obviously it's all of them together. So yeah, this was £2, again, just for my own collection, really. I thought, yep, yeah, I'll have this. And this was worth nine ninety five. so £2 at a charity shop. Yes, please. I won't be reading it. I'll just be putting it in my collection. <laughs> Sticking with the Mean To You theme as well. Again, we've got... I picked up this um, uh, Kate Topper, I think it was. I think that's what I found it was. Um, and it's a On Your Christening Day. And it's Me Too with a candle and then obviously a blanket. So, again, it's boxed and everything. I think this was two, two £2, something like that, um, from Charity Shop. Again, probably not going to get much more for it, but I thought somebody might like it for a christening top off so yes there's um that as well again i've got another me too thing i don't know what it was but oh i forgot about that <laughs> um this is a little me too teddy again this says true friend and it's in like a flower shaped plaque it's holding in its hand which looks like this again anybody that likes me too or me too beers or anybody that used to like it and collect still collects all the beers and stuff because we knew somebody that used to collect them these will be good. So this was 75p um, and this was from the Treetops Hospice. Again, I haven't said all, obviously all the charity shops where each one was from because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I thought this little teddy bear would sell. I'd probably get a couple of quid for it if that, but it's a bear. <laughs> and then I think this is the last me to you thing. I think this is the last thing. Um, this is for a special girlfriend. Now, my brother actually picked this up in the shop. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we'll get it. So it looked like he was buying it for me, which obviously wasn't, you know yellow so this is in the box again the box is a bit damaged but i think if you just took it out of the box anyway the beer's not thingy it does look a bit weird because it looks like its actual face is squished but that's the design of the beer so it's got a big love art on it and it there it says special girlfriend um i don't think it says it anywhere else no it just says sit there um so obviously it's got like a little tag on it just says special girlfriend so back in the day people used to buy these for the girlfriends and shit so i just thought maybe somebody will buy it <laughs> and then i also picked up this as well because if you don't know that i absolutely love toy story toys toy story is my favorite film i always bang on about it and i found this beer now i really really want to keep it for myself but i thought no i have that many fucking pillows and teddies and everything all over my bed you know i'm like going back to my childhood again um i don't need to add another one to my collection so this is lots of I found him in the charity shop for three pound. Um, I found this in the Salvation Army, I think. Um, and I thought, you know what? I looked at him and I thought, no, no, I'm not going to pick him up. I'm not going to pick him up. I thought, you know, what? I'm going to pick him up. So, he is original, uh, Disney one. So as you can see, his face don't look weird or anything because I think in some of the ones that um, are not real, they look a bit weird. Um, but he is real because it's got the Disney actual disney thing on the back of him so as you can see it's obviously been used and loved and whatever because obviously his tummy's not as white as it should be and stuff but we've washed him we've given him a wash um yeah i thought anybody that likes toy story or you know is like me that absolutely loves it then they'd love this and even a kid who loves toy story or lot so whatever and wants a little cuddly toy to bed so yeah and then this is the last thing i actually have to physically show you because i've left something downstairs and something's already sold so, you know, um, but this is a statue of a robin. Now, I went into the charity shop and I saw this and I didn't know whether to pick it up or not. And I thought, I don't know, I don't know whether to pick it up. And I kept being drawn back to it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up. Now, obviously, if you don't know, then I, I love robins. Robins are like everything. And obviously, I've got one on my arm of a robin. Robins signify something to me so that's why I like robins um, and that's why it's obviously on my arm but I picked up this and I thought you know what that don't look weird it actually looks like a genuine robin and something kept pulling me towards it so 
I thought I'm gonna buy it. So this is, this was £1.95. I can't remember which charity shop it was. I think it was True Hospice, I can't remember. Um, and yeah, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna purchase this for myself um, and I'm just gonna put it in my room somewhere. So yeah, I thought that was a nice little item to buy. And I believe that is everything that I have to physically show you. And then the next thing I actually got was, this was unbelievable. <laughs> so, I went in the charity shop and I seen this Wii Fit board, like, in the box and everything. And I kept looking at it thinking, oh, do I take a chance or not? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up. And it was £5 and it was brand new. It still had the uh, packaging on it, all the bubble wrap, the box. It had never been opened, never been touched. It even still had the original batteries that when you first buy it, it came with it. It had the Wii Fit obviously game to it. It was sealed and everything. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to take that chance and pick it up. So I picked it up. It's fucking heavy. Oh my God, it was heavy. Um, we used to have one, but the one we had was obviously going to sell. But then when we looked at it and opened it up, um, we'd left batteries in it and it leaked. And we were like, I was like, oh. So it still works, but obviously I didn't want to sell that on. And then, you know, if the person was going to use it and whatever and it didn't work, then it was going to be a bit of a thingy. So, yeah, seen it in charity shop. I thought, you know what, I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to pick it up. And I put it on eBay as of yesterday afternoon. And within, like, three hours it's old. And I earned a good bit of profit from it. So I paid a £5 in charity shop, but I got it for more. Sorry if you can see the light blinking. I don't know what is up with it. I don't know why it's doing that. So yeah, that was quite a quick thingy, but yeah, it was in the original packaging, I'd only opened it just to test to see if it worked and whether it came on, um, I didn't test the game or anything because I didn't want to open it and then um, have it not sealed, if you know what I mean, so I literally just left it, so I just got some batteries and tested it and it worked and everything, but yeah, £5 for a Wii Fit balance board and the original game and everything in the original box and packaging, it was only the box that was a slight bit, got a couple of marks on it, but it wasn't really damaged, it was crazy yeah it was mental and i can't believe it's sold like that so yes i'll be definitely looking out for some more like that. um and then my mum found some david wallian books in the charity shop um she went in and she just thought oh they look you know they look decent and obviously david wallian's is quite popular um and she got three books and i think she said they were like three quid or something like i can't remember what she said actually to be honest they were around about that price three pound two pound um and there were like three big hardback books there was grandpa's great escape there was bad dad and there was another one i can't remember what it was um so yeah and they are worth obviously a little bit more so my mum picked them up yeah and then the one another thing that sold from a charity shop that we bought was a little eeyore figurine and it was a little figurine of Eeyore, and I think it said happy birthday or something on it. Can't remember. It had a butterfly on its nose, and it was slightly a bit broken, but it was easy fixable. Like, everything was easy fixable. It was a bit dirty and stuff, but I cleaned it up, um, and I managed to sell it for more than I got it got it for. So, yeah, I'm very impressed with that. So, hopefully all this stuff goes. Um, but if you did enjoy that charity shop haul, then give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to do any more charity shop hauls... Give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below because I do actually like going in charity shops and see what you can find. So yeah, if you want me to do any more, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see any more of my videos, then I'll leave them on the screen just here and here. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.